And here's a live picture this afternoon from Jellystone Park in Eureka. The dry weather has been ideal for those trying to set up the huge holiday lights displays, but the wind, however, can be a bit of a struggle. News 11's Jamie Travers spoke with the crew out at Santa's Magical Kingdom on how setup is going so far. It's not even Halloween yet, but Jellystone Park in Eureka is already being transformed into Santa's Magical Kingdom. The crew hard at work for the past nine days, beginning the transformation right after Jellystone Park closes for the season. Monday we start setting up Christmas lights and we've got about six, seven weeks, so um, we're almost a month out and we're, we're getting there. We'll work up until the final minute we open. <laughs> working straight through the gusty winds. Yesterday we did have quite a bit of wind, um, but all that showed us was how strong or not strong things are. Um, so what needs more stability? Actually, what we've put up so far was still standing, so we're good on that front. On a drive through Santa's Magical Kingdom, you'll see approximately 4 million lights and some new additions this year. We've added some baby dinosaurs to our already like big dinosaurs that we've got. We also have a new leaf. We updated our fountain. That's a popular item. So we've updated it with new lights. So that'll be fun to see. Um, and we've just changed some stuff up here and there around the park. So I think it'll be really great for everybody. But everyone here is excited for another year of holiday magic. We're so excited. We love the change every year. We go from camping and then we hit the ground running October 2nd and we start Christmas. So it's a little weird. We start Christmas before Halloween, but it works out for us. And we're excited for another year and to see everybody's smiling faces throughout the kingdom. Santa's Magical Kingdom opens Friday, November 18th and runs approximately 5.30 to 10.30 each night. The cost is $30 per vehicle, cash only. Reporting in Eureka, Jamie Travers, News 11.